In this video, we will be learning how to open and cash out a table. Administrators, managers, and serving staff should all watch this video. If you only do counter service, you can skip this video. If you've closed Touch Bistro, open Touch Bistro and open your restaurant. Log in as a server. You should never log in as an admin or manager to serve customers. Tap an appropriate table to seat a party of two. You can enter a party name. Tap the number in the party, in this case, two. At the left is our menu, where you select items ordered. Touch Bistro lets you view your menu in three different modes. Image mode, text mode, and list mode. Image mode is helpful if you need visual cues. Text mode allows color coding of categories and menu items. Colors can help identify particular menu items that might be featured or on special. For this demo, we'll use image mode. Let's say your party is hungry and wants to get started on a shared app. Tap shared order for table. Select an available menu, for example, the dinner menu. Then tap an app category and tap the desired app. With the order confirmed, you can tap the send icon to send the app to the kitchen printer. By default, when you send an order to the kitchen, Touch Bistro returns you to the floor plan. Under the admin settings, you can change this behavior. When the party looks like they're ready to order their mains, revisit the table. Touch Bistro always defaults to seat 1 for the first order. Take each order. Tap on seat 2 to take the second guest's order. As you'll notice, some of our orders have forced modifiers. For example, the steak order required the server to ask the customer about their preferred cooking time. Other items can have optional modifiers. We can access modifier options, as well as other options, by tapping a menu item. But let's say the customer wants more than one of the same item. Tap Quantity. If the item has optional modifiers, tap Modifiers. You can select one of the pre-configured modifiers or add a custom modifier. For example, a customer might request you hold the onions in their salad. You can also do custom requests, like grated cheese, for which you can also include an upcharge. You can do a discount, either a pre-configured discount or a custom discount. For example, you might comp this item by 100%. If the item was added to the wrong seat, you can use Move to Seat to move it to the correct seat. However, suppose the guest changes seats entirely. A quicker way to move the guest's order to the new seat is tap the Edit icon. Tap the items you want to move. Then tap Actions, tap Move to Seat, and select the seat. The Actions menu also lets you perform additional actions on all items selected. For example, you can delete or void a group of items. 
If one diner wants to move to another table, you can quickly move that seat to another table. Before you send the order to the kitchen, tap the course icon to check each item is properly coursed. You can make modifications to the course on a per item basis. Let's say the customer wants the salad brought out with the meal. So tap course 2 for the salad. Now tap send. Let's say your table has their apps and they look about half finished. You know it will take about 15 minutes for the mains to get ready. You can reopen the table and send a fire order to the kitchen to start on the mains. However, before we reopen the table, let's look at a few table options. Tap and hold on the table. Tap print preview to see a quick preview of the bill. You can use the transfer options to transfer the table to another waiter or transfer the party to another table. You can rename the party. You can also print the table's bill without having to enter the table and checkout screen. Let's tap the table and fire the mains. Tap course options. Tap fire. You can ignore pickup. Pickup is similar to fire, except fire will timestamp your fire order. A fire order gets printed to the kitchen. Let's say at this point another guest arrives and wants to join the table. You can add another seat by tapping the add icon. Let's say our new member of the party is just joining the table for a drink and an app. Let's reopen the table. Remember, at the start, seat 1 and 2 shared an order of nachos. The nachos were done by the time the third guest arrived. It's doubtful the third guest will want to pay for a shared item he or she didn't get to enjoy. So tap the item shared. Tap split item among seats. Tap seat 1 and 2 who are splitting this item. Let's say it's now time to cash out the table. Seat 2 indicates he or she will be paying for seat 3. So tap and hold on seat 2 and drag it over to seat 3. The seats are combined. Let's say seat 3, now knowing seat 2 is paying for his or her bill, decides to order additional items before settling up the bill. In your haste, you proceed to the checkout screen. By default, Touch Bistro will let you proceed to the checkout screen with an item on the order screen that has not been sent to the kitchen. If you, as an admin, would like to prevent that, log in as admin and access the admin settings screens. Tap Security. Tap Unsent Items Warning. Choose your level of security. Tap Warn if you merely want to give the waiter a warning about an unsent item before proceeding. Tap a Manager Required option to require a manager to enter a passcode and override. Returning to the table, we're now ready to check out the table. As indicated previously, the table has asked for their checks to be split by seats. So tap Split by Seating. Touch Bistro creates two separate guest checks. If you recall, seat 2 and 3 are combined on the second guest check. The shared app appears on both bills, split evenly. Under Adjustments, include an Autograd, Add Remove Discount, Exclude a certain tax, or add a note. For example, to add an additional explanation for the discount. Tap Print All to print both bills. Alternatively, if, say, the first seat wants his or her bill and wants to leave before seat 2 and 3, tap the first guest check and under Bill Options tap Print to Receipt Printer or whatever printer you have configured to print guest checks. Let's say this seat wants to pay cash. Tap Cash.
you now have options for receipts. You can print another receipt for your records or offer to email the receipt to the customer. If you choose not to print another receipt, all bills are kept within the system for later access. If you made a mistake about the payment and only realize at this point, you can tap Continue without closing. Tap Edit Undo Payment. After that bill is closed, it's marked as paid and removed from the checkout screen. Let's say the second customer offers a credit card for payment. We'll first work through credit card payments if you're using a non-integrated payment processor. Use your non-integrated payment card reader to process the payment. After processing the payment, you now need to parallel the payment detail via the manual charge process in Touch Bistro. This ensures your end-of-day figures and your non-integrated terminal batch totals match. So tap Manual Charge Credit. Tap the card offered. Enter the amount paid for the bill and the amount written on the tip line or entered into the mobile card processor. Finally, close the table.